So I'm going to be reading with the Druid Craft deck this time. Um, and I'm going to be, I'm still struggling with how to trust um, that my business will remain stable. Um, yeah, that's probably the best way to to express it, trusting that things will remain to be okay. And this is quite a simple spread. Um, and sometimes actually the simple spreads can be really interesting because the less cards you have, the more in-depth you need to go. And I'm going to be demonstrating the stonework this time. So I've shuffled, cutting. This is about trust, trusting that my business will be okay. And the first card represents the issue and yeah I mean it's the if I can get that into focus it's the ten of wands I am um, I do overwork I am one of these people that the more stressed I get the busier I am um, busy procrastinator if you like if there's something I don't like doing then I will be really good at tidying the house and doing well, just about anything else really rather than sitting with the emotion and feeling it and understanding it so the issue is that I do, do tend to overwork to deal with my anxiety I get that so the second card is advice um, three of cups there's two two sort of main issues within this card. The first one I think is is really key is that I need to start celebrating when things go right. Um, I'm very quick to when there's a problem, obsess about it, worry about it, feel regret or remorse about it. But I'm very quick to overlook when things go well. And obviously the second meaning for this is friendships. Um, I am not very good at asking for help. I have some amazing friends that I've met along this journey who I know are keen to help. And I guess I would trust a lot more if I worked in a more collaborative manner. And where could this lead me? A possible outcome. The one card actually, and it's interesting, I think, a useful exercise for this, particularly a smaller spread like this, would be before you do the spread to ask to think to yourself which cards do you think will come up um, because this is when I thought about um, if I if I trusted that my business was going to be fine where would that lead me it would lead me to enjoy more family time you know there's moments when everyone's watching a movie and I think oh god that email I haven't done that email hang on guys you just carry on I'll be back in a minute dash out to my computer half an hour later come back and everyone's grumpy with me so yes if I can sort this out it will definitely allow me to have more family time so there's an you know an interesting thought that like I say before you do the spread perhaps pause which, which cards could you, do you think I thought the ace of swords could come up out there need better planning I didn't think the knight of swords would come out there because I already am a little bit too focused one could argue um, but Ten of Cups, Star, Two of Cups, Knight of Cups, which represents my husband. I definitely thought a Happy Cups card was likely to come out there. Now the stonework, I can't demonstrate it perfectly because um, I don't have the space to set my tripod up so you can see it. But what you need is a beach stone. You could use a crystal if you like. If you have a pendant that you wear that's really important to you, you could use, you could use anything. I like to use beach stones, mostly because I do this a lot in my shamanic work and often people like to take the stone away with them. So using beach stones means that if clients want to take the stone away, they really can. So choose a card that you would like more um, understanding on that you'd like to go deeper on and for me it's the ten of wands I really get these two I get the ten of wands I identify with it but I don't fully understand why why do I overwork when I'm stressed now if you're at home what you do now is you put these three cards on the floor you could actually do all three cards you place a stone next to the card and if you're at home what you do now is you meditate for your meditate for a few moments perhaps like some incense really create that zone where you're connecting with your right brain i like to do what i call earth breathing which is when when i breathe in 
I focus on the energy rising up through the soles of my feet, literally coming up my body like a wave. And then as I breathe out, I literally feel the stress and the tension as I breathe out is coming out of me. So that's how I like to get into the zone, breathing in through the soles of my feet. And the out breath is a release of stress and tension. And then when you're ready, you walk towards that stone. You pause for a moment and you just set the intent. When I pick that stone up, my right brain will give me the information I need. And then you, what you have to do is say out loud, ideally, remove all your filters, trust the process, and say what comes to you. And I'm just getting an image of my mother, cleaning, 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 busy, cooking, Everything's got to be perfect, plumping cushions, running around, feel, frank, feel anxious and frantic and never quite good enough. And I can see my father coming in and he's, he's tired and he's, he's, just, he's, he's grumpy and moaning and when's dinner and why isn't it ready yet? And just this beautiful spotless house and yet both of them are captured there. I, it's, it's like they're... Um, bugs you know on a board not quite able to move and fill this beautiful open space and it's as if they're creating a, a cage for themselves by this opulent tidy immaculate house and um, I'm gonna put the stone down because that's quite I, I get visual you may get emotion you may feel it in your heart chakra you may get words but yes that was quite and I could what had happened the image I could see was from my childhood it was after a big argument and basically it's I am modeling my mother which is not surprising so the stone exercise it does take a while to get used to um, obviously I use it a lot with clients so I'm quite used to doing it so just just play with it you know it's a really powerful way to work and I really do encourage you in any spread if you've got a card that you really don't get, keep that card and work with it because that card will have something to say somewhere.